Welcome aboard the National Geographic Seabird. This week, our guests will be sailing through the Columbia River Basin in the wake of Lewis and Clark. We will be having a fabulous week exploring, going up the Columbia and then up the Snake River all the way to Clarkston, Washington and Lewiston, Idaho. The National Geographic Seabird's voyage along the Columbia River is a culinary journey as well as a historical one. Every day, the menus feature local produce raised in the area along the river. We'll have an opportunity to jet boat on the Snake River into Hell's Canyon. We'll stop at Palouse Falls and get to kayak and Zodiac Cruise on the Palouse River. We'll visit the Columbia River Highway and have a chance to bike ride. And then when we get all the way out to Astoria, we'll visit the historic Fort Clatsa where Lewis and Clark spent the winter of 1805-06. All right, well, let's begin our adventure. We start our voyage in Portland, one of the great cities of the Pacific Northwest. We'll be traveling down the Willamette River under seven beautiful bridges, each one different from the next, as we begin our voyage before sunset. Those of you who are already here in the lounge have probably seen we're setting up for our wine and local cheese tasting. This evening, Brian will be serving tastes of our white wines at the bar. So these are our white wines from the Pacific Northwest, from Washington and Oregon. Around the corner, Kate will be serving tastes of red. And in accompaniment to the wine this evening, we also are featuring cheese. And then this one over here is their smoky blue. The largest single lock chamber and the largest dam that we'll go through on our trip is the John Day Lock and Dam. It's named for the John Day River, which is just a little bit behind, a little bit east of it. It has the single largest lock chamber in North America at more than 100 feet, and it's the highest dam that we'll go through again at about 110 feet tall. They were initially designed for barge traffic, which are tugs and barges, but any type of boat, as long as it has an engine, can use the navigational locks to move up and down the Columbia and the Snake River. Upon arriving in Clarkston, we boarded Beamer's jet boats to traverse the rough and rugged rapids of the Hell's Canyon portion of the free-flowing Snake River. The trip gives us an opportunity to observe wildlife, geologic wonders where Native American petroglyphs are etched into the rocks. Today we have uh, really nice clouds, very beautiful mountains. It's a perfect day for uh, practicing photography. Today in Hood River, we're visiting Rasmussen's Fruit Orchard to collect pears and apples for this evening's local food tasting. Fleetwide, our food philosophy at Lindblad is to source as much as possible from local farmers in the areas where our ships travel. Here along the Columbia River, it's fall. It's harvest time. And at every port we stop, we have connections with local farmers and fresh produce along our trip. We're on the Palouse River this morning. It is a gorgeous day for the river. We're gonna Zodiac cruise up river here for about an hour and see what we can find. So in the springtime, the swallows are coming in and out, and this is one of the areas where they build their nests. You can see the mud nests on the underhangs of the basalt columns. Palouse Falls is uh, in a, a beautiful oasis in the middle of a large area that's sometimes called the Scablands. In fact, they're called the Channel Scablands. That name kind of came from a wonderful geologist named J. Harlan Bretz. And we're here to see not just the falls, uh, but the uh, spectacular plunge pool and, and rim uh, that is one of the greatest remnants of the floods of 15,000 years ago, the glacial Lake Missoula floods, which were hundreds of times bigger than the Palouse River is now. We are at the uh, reconstructed Fort Clatsop, the winter headquarters of the Lewis and Clark Expedition, 1805 and 1806. This is uh, not where the Lewis and Clark Expedition hoped to spend the winter, 
but they were delayed crossing the Rocky Mountains and uh, spent a cold, uh, wet, and hungry winter here at Fort Clatsop. This is our first Lindblad tour. It's just wonderful. They show you the scenery, the history, the geology. It's just been an absolutely delightful, enlightening experience. One of the reasons I take these trips is uh, photography, and it was really fun adapting to photographing the scenery, which the opportunities there were tremendous. You get access to things that as an individual you'd have a very difficult time getting access to. is a real opportunity to take some very interesting photos in places that uh, are really unique. This week we've been sailing in the wake of Lewis and Clark. We've seen the confluence of great western rivers, the conflicts between civilizations, and the result of technology that has changed the face of nature here along the Columbia River Basin.